wicked, wicked, wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? It's just doing triceps later, but who gives a fuck? I'll do it now before I forget. So there's a lot of a lot of people have been watching my tricep stuff and like copying or not copying, that's a weird word. Like trying to do the overhead push out and like a lot of the oh shit, that's heavy. Forty-five pounds felt like three thousand pounds. Of. So a lot of people are doing this one too, where they're kind of flexing down and they're rocking through. And it's, yeah, maybe it doesn't come across in videos and we've done videos about this before, about tempo. But you guys really need to like, in order to correct your tempo, you need to like, de you have to like compartmentalize your lift. So you have to do your lift in sections. It can't be like, oh, I'm getting my arm here and I'm just going. Do you see how that's all one movement? It's just this. Whereas this is completely different. Like there's a shift of my arm going down and then there's my elbow dropping down and then there's my hand flexing through at a pace that it can handle, not going. Yeah, do you understand? Like it's, you guys have to find, like this is 15 pounds, right? So 30 pounds, now I have to find the tension again. I have to understand that like this tension pulling my hand up, I'm fighting against it. So I want to get in a position where I have leverage on that tension. I don't want to be here, not far enough, because then I'll, I need to get here. So I need to put body weight on my arm, weight on this foot. This foot is just balancing and I'm pushing through. So again, I want to smash in forearm to bicep as much as I can, because that's maximally stretching my tricep. This elbow push forward stretches more, and then I drive down through. So the break, like we said before, is here, bicep smashing into forearm, and then pressing out, unfolding from that break. So then for, bicep pushes down, forearm comes off, bicep, hand flicks. Catch, roll up, flick. So it's all a sequence, right? It's the same thing for overhead. For you guys and girls that are, I see a lot of people mimicking it, trying to do it. And we've gone over this before, but like I think it, if you break it down even more, oh, should I do it this way? Yeah, so if I'm setting here, because I'll do it off here. If I'm setting here, my tricep's already stretched. I don't need to be more stretched. In the sense that I'm holding a cable that's pinning my arm back in the most stretched position my tricep can be in. So even me holding this weight here is causing tension. I'm not relaxed here. I'm relaxed here because I can lock down on my arm and I can hold onto my body, but there's still a stretch happening here. More than if I let go, there'd be no stretch. Like for me to even be able to stay in that position, there's tension on the line, right? I can't hold this position. My elbow will just want to drop, right? So if you guys understand that, guys and girls, that we're rocking here, and this tension here i am already created is now rocking through. So biceps coming, forearms coming off bicep, hands extending out, roll. Make it that smooth and that slow, have a pause here so you can feel the weight shift back out through the exact sequence you just did. So forearm touches bicep, rolls up, forearm comes off bicep, extend arm. So you can go that slow. You guys don't have to be all gung-ho and like I saw Mike do it and then I'm here and I'm, that's one movement. That's not a sequence of movement, right? So, so you guys break, break down your movements into those sections and don't be afraid in, in the negative. Oh, this guy's tank top, wow. And uh, what is the point of this tank top? It's just like, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> well, I don't even know what it's saying now. Uh, so just think that when, I, when I'm here, every time I do a rep, so I'm gonna extend out and I'm gonna fall back and I'm gonna pause so I can catch that tension again. So I'm not trying to go here and go. A lot of people mistake tension for constant movement, which is incorrect. I don't keep more tension because I'm going faster. So you see these guys bench press and especially dumbbells, they can't wait to get out of the bottom and get this thing here, get this thing here, test this thing here. So it's like a millisecond push. 
millisecond push. There's no stretch. The only stretch is the drop a bit, but we're never settling into our chest and being able to lift our rib cage and really dig in and then drive out through our palm, right? Same with the tricep. When I'm, flick, when I'm firing here, I'm never sitting in the stretch and then understanding that I can swing out from it. It's not about like tension. Like I said, is not how fast you, you can go or how, can, how continuous you can make a movement with shitty form and just going as fast as humanly possible. Or like curl, 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 drop it. It's like you can do a curl and then you can let that curl down and relax. Because even in a curl, there's tension on my arm holding my arm down. Like if I'm holding this bar. So the simple act of me holding a bar here, locked out on my arm, is creating tension in my bicep, especially if I learn to keep my chin up and don't hunch over too much. Unless I'm trying to curl here, quick curl and grab bicep quickly. But as soon as you see, feel your chest lifting up and your chin lifting up, you're gonna feel tension down on your bicep. Not so much here. And you're gonna feel that tension. So if I'm doing reps and I'm rolling up and then I'm relaxing, there's still tension there. And I can curl when I feel like I have the right momentum again to curl up. I don't have to go. You see how stupid that looks? Oh, that fucking tank top, wow. I wish you guys could have seen that. That was something special. Even here, my tension, can you hear me? Yep. My tension here, a lot of people want to go right away. Right away. It's like just sink and hold and roll through. Use your body momentum to sink through the weight. At no point am I, am I flicking or am I short arming these little alligator arms push out, right? Another thing to do for chest for people who, have un, who don't understand this idea that I have where it's like heads forward and you're rocking back in your press is try and do it in midair and watch how fucking no, more normal it is than going like that. Do you know what I mean? So if I posture myself up here just like I do on benches and dumbbells and I rock away from the press, so I pin myself back in midair, I can control weight. So again, I'm falling into weight pushing. So I'm coming around my lats. I'm not coming around my shoulders. I'm coming around lats and I'm lifting chest up, relaxing here. So the weight feels like it's on my hands. Push through. Force your head and chest back and rock up. You can't do those reps fast and you'll understand tension better is you'll have to understand like I'm going to have to slow this down and feel this tension sitting on me before I can get leverage and move with it. It's impossible. If you do it too quick, you're going to fuck up and you're going to see your shoulder roll, right?